Abby, thanks so much. Well, what would your kids think about going to school on Saturday? What do you think about that? Believe it or not, Plymouth students are happy to do it because it means they don't have to add those snow makeup days to the end of their school year. WSBT 22's Annie Chang talked to the corporation about this decision, and Annie, it's very different from what other districts are doing. It is, Jennifer. I checked all the corporations in our area, and most of them are forced to make their school year longer. We're seeing that most students will have school all the way into June. To avoid doing that, Plymouth schools have scheduled three Saturday school days, but students won't be in the classrooms those days. Last year was a test year for high schoolers like Angel Yaloa. They had class from home one Saturday through online e-learning. It was just like school. It was like wake up, normal routine, and do your homework. It went well, so the corporation decided to do the same thing for all grades this year over three Saturdays, April 11th, April 18th, and May 16th. The corporation says this is only possible because every single one of their students is given a computer. Grades 2 through 12 have laptops. Um, kindergarten and first graders have iPads. And while they know not everyone is a fan of school on Saturdays. Uh, it's not perfect. Assistant Superintendent Annie Hartley says it's better than the alternative. Adding on to the end of the year makes it rough, and so the more we can keep things in line with um, the, the typical school year calendar, uh, the better. He says homework won't be due until the following Tuesday. The high school will be open for those who need internet, and teachers will be available to help during school hours. On this virtual day, it's going to be so cool because they can actually comment in real time while the student is doing their homework. Janice Curtis is one of three full-time e-learning coaches at Plymouth. She says digital learning is the future of public education. Nobody uses an encyclopedia anymore except if it's online. So Plymouth schools are staying one step ahead. Glad that we have what we have. Like, just be thankful for the technology we have here. Now, Plymouth schools say adding days onto the end of their school year would have been very difficult because next school year they're transitioning to a balanced calendar. That means the school year will start at the beginning of August. Now, I compiled a list of snow makeup plans from every single school district in our area. I'll have that list up on our website, WSBT.com. Just click on this story. At the live desk, I'm Annie Chang, WSBT 22 News.